Hi, I'm Kristen Duncan with Keller Williams Realty, and I am at the Palms at Saranoa in Claremont, Florida, just outside of Orlando and just around Magic Kingdom. So come on in, I'm gonna give you a tour. Even though it's October here, it's still a little warm, so we're gonna come inside. So this community is located north of 192 off of Highway 27. If you don't know what that means yet, that's totally fine. We're about 30 minutes from Magic Kingdom, 45 minutes from the Orlando airport, and about 20 minutes from downtown Claremont where you have all your local restaurants, breweries, farmer's market. So this is off of Highway 27, as I said, super popular place to be. And the Palms at Saranoa is actually located within the Sawgrass Bay community. And that is a new construction community for all ages, even though the Palms at Saranoa itself are 55 plus. It is actually in its final phase of building. So they've been building in here for a few years and they are nearing completion. They're in phase four, which is going to be their final phase. Again, this is Freedom Homes by D.R. Horton. I'll kind of explain some of the features of the property as we go through the house. The HOA in here is really reasonable. Your HOA and CDD combined are about $360, just under 360. Now, that sounds like a lot maybe to some of you that maybe live up north, haven't dealt with HOAs before, but this one's really great because it's going to take care of your lawn service. Now, that usually runs very minimum $100 a month in Florida probably something more like 150, 200 if you're landscaped. So having a $360 HOA and CDD combo, but featuring lawn service is a pretty good deal by most Floridian standards, I would say. <laughs> so this is a model home. And if you haven't toured new homes in Central Florida before, these are gonna be furnished. When you buy the property, it's not gonna be furnished. So even though it looks really great, they will give you furnishing suggestions. We always have people that can help with that but the property is not going to come furnished. This is just for show. You can also buy the model homes. Once they're done selling, they will list the model properties and you'll get some extra bells and whistles, some extra cosmetic upgrades with the model homes. So in this community, they are selling 50 foot home sites. That's all that's remaining. And that is their largest home site. They were selling half duplexes, 40 foot home sites, and now we are down to the 50 foot home site. So if you're looking for something a little bit larger, this is the Delray model. It's gonna be over 2000 square feet, just barely, 20, 34 square feet. And they are not taking custom orders in the Palms at Saranoa any longer. They have finished that phase of building. So the designers here have picked out the details of the property already. So the price that you're quoted is going to be the final sales price all included. Um, you know, it's going to come with granite countertops. It's going to come in the bathroom. It's going to come with quartz countertops in the kitchen, stainless steel appliances. We'll go over some of the things that aren't included in just a minute that might surprise you, but this is common for most new builds in Central Florida. So they're going to range in this community with what's left for in phase four, between 430 and $465,000. And that's all inclusive. So you'll see some builders that have extra lot fees and all kinds of things that is all inclusive here. So unfortunately they don't come with the swimming pool, but these are the larger home sites, the 50 foot lots. So you can put in a swimming pool in nearly all of these lots. And you'll see this one in particular, there is the amenity center just behind this property, which is pretty cool. You can just walk right over to the zero entry resort style pool, pickleball courts, tennis courts, um, you know, the general clubhouse, you name it, they have the activities here. Plus they're going to have daily scheduled activities. Plenty of places to walk and be outside and enjoy the Florida sun. Um, so this is the first of the two models that we're gonna show you today in the Palms at Saranoa. So come on over, we're gonna show you the other model. These, the Delray and the Clifton are the primary models that they have left in the community. They are selling a few Avons and a few Bristols, but on your larger 50 foot lots, they are going to be mostly the um, Delray and the Clifton, which is what we're in now. So we'll head over to the Clifton and I want to talk about something with new construction in Florida that I think is a little bit unique. If you haven't researched new construction here, you may not realize a lot of new construction properties don't come with a few items, surprisingly the refrigerator. So this house actually does not come with a refrigerator. It's something that you're going to have an additional expense to buy separately. Um, while we're walking past this, I'm just going to show you what they do with model homes. They do sell them after they build them, but they're going to take out this landscaping add a paver driveway and then this model will be ready for sale so not quite yet but once they're completely done selling um, they will add those features 
So we're gonna head to the second model. This is a Clifton, and there's quite a few Cliftons available in the community. It's a little bit smaller than the one we were just in, than the Delray. It's about 18, 16 square feet. Um, this one's really beautifully decorated. And again, these are models, so it's still gonna have some of those bells and whistles, but come on in and take a look. And I know we started talking about this, but we didn't really finish. So I wanna talk about some things that often are not included in homes when you buy a new construction property in Florida. That is the refrigerator. Um, the other appliance, appliances are included often, but the refrigerator a lot of times is not. And the window blinds, sometimes it comes with them and sometimes it doesn't. So maybe a realtor can help you negotiate that. And the garage door opener. So just a few things to look out for that can cost a few thousand dollars in addition to the base price or the, even the all-in price of the home. But let's talk about what is included because the beauty of new construction is you get a lot for you know the price that you're paying for the property. Um, granite countertops, I'm sorry, quartz countertops in this community in the kitchen and granite countertops in the bathrooms. That is not an upgrade that comes with the home. Now these cabinets might be a bit of an upgrade, but this unit is going to come with 42 inch cabinets. So you're not going to have, you know, the smaller oak cabinets that some communities have. This is a nice upgraded finish to everything. Stainless steel appliances, the extra large sink, um, the ceilings are going to be this height, uh, nine foot, four inch ceilings. You've got at least eight foot doors. So again, some nice upgrades that you don't always get in all the communities. The paver driveway, pavered front sidewalk are all included. I mentioned something earlier that I get a lot of questions about, and I just wanted to highlight as we continue to tour the home, and that is the CDD. Uh, I mentioned that the HOA and the CDD combined for this home site is about 360 a month. Now the CDD stands for Community Development District, and that is added on to your property taxes. So it is paid through your county property taxes, and it really pays for the infrastructure in the community. Your lighting, the gates in this community, um, the sidewalks, just all of the infrastructure that it takes to get a community up and running. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure if this is a 20 or 30 year CDD in here, but typically CDDs in Central Florida are going to stay on your taxes for 20 to 30 years. So probably as long as you'll own the home or, you know, <laughs> or even longer than that, really. So this one, I just want to point out the yard again. The other one had a swimming pool, so it's a little bit harder to get a good grasp of what the yard size is on these 50 foot lots. Um, if you have a pet or going to have kids come and visit, this is a really great lot size. So there will be a patio included with this sale. It is not going to be screened. That would be an upgrade. And this fire pit that you see is an upgrade also. You can see the one next door is fenced, so you are allowed to have certain fences in the community, probably aluminum in most of the areas. Um, you, you know, you do have to get those approved by the HOA, but you are allowed to fence the properties. So up next, we'll try to take a look at some of the amenities in here. Really nice. This is truly resort style living. Um, if you've dreamed of coming to Florida from out of state, this is kind of what you're looking for when it comes to amenities. They have it all here.